Hey guys, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, just wanted to really quickly uh, say thank you. I just noticed that I passed 250 subscribers. And uh, to celebrate that, I thought that uh, I would do some good old fashioned uh, internet pandering to head on to the next 250. So look, is a kitten. Oh, look, I got a kitten. How many internets does that get me? Huh? Yeah. Oh, now I got two cats. Oh man, I'm gonna get so many subscribers for this. Look, it's Catception. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, you're an internet celebrity now. All right, on to beer. Alright, welcome to the actual Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, we may see the kitten again. He's up behind the camera chewing on things. So yeah, my wife uh, my wife got a kitten uh, a couple last week. Yeah, last, last week. I got a new job. My wife got a kitten. So fair trade, I guess. Uh, oh, here he comes. Oh, look at that. He's learning from the other cat. I'm sure you've seen our my other cat in some of my other videos. He, uh, oh, now they're going to fight in the background. Anyway, so uh, what else is going on uh, that isn't cat related? I am busy moving all of my stuff out of the, the brew house. Uh, that's what I did this past weekend. Uh, it's basically all gone except... Um, I have some kegs and bottles still down there because uh, yesterday we we went and um, and kegged uh, basically the last beers that we had brewed down there. Uh, kegs and uh, actually we bottled the chocolate stout, which I'm going to get to in a second, and then we kegged um, a smoked stout and uh, and a IPL that's uh, going to be the last beers ever ever made down at the brew house. But we're uh, we're on to bigger and better things now. Uh, first grandfather brew at my house is scheduled for this coming Saturday. We're just I'm just doing a smash Columbus uh, IPA. I just wanna I wanna don't wanna do anything really fancy. Uh, the smash is first just to kind of get a feel for the um, the efficiency. So we're only doing one malt and like a round number. So I think it's going to be either five or six kilograms of malt. And then uh, we're going to just blow it out with uh, Columbus. I've got like 250 grams big bag of Columbus. Probably just going to just gonna use the majority of it just to see how the grandfather does with a shit ton of loose uh, pellet hops. I think that'll be a, a pretty cool test. Of its uh, capabilities and um, yeah I've got so many so many plans I have to see like how often I'm gonna be able to brew now at home uh, because I have the you know more limited space now so I can't I can't kind of stack brews up all over the house or my my wife will kill me so uh, I don't know how like I don't know how many I can have in the pipeline at any one time but uh, I definitely, if uh, if if you watched my last uh, beer review, which if you didn't, why click that thing? Why haven't you watched it yet? Uh, it was for a smoked salt uh, farmhouse ale, and it's it's really given me this uh, really cool idea of doing a um, a smoked salt goza. So I really want to do that as kind of a small batch uh, side thing. Uh, so. I actually have this. Uh, this is smoked salt from. Um, there's an island uh, in Denmark called Bornholm. It's. Uh, it's actually. Uh, yeah, it's it's way off in the in the. It's actually closer to Sweden than it is Denmark. But anyway, it's famous for its um, smoking fish, and my wife and I were there couple of years ago and we bought this and it's uh, salt that smoked in one of the uh, one of the famous uh, old smokers that they have there and it smells awesome it just smells yeah it smells like campfire it's really awesome stuff so this is definitely going in a smoked goza 
and uh, I hope to be able to brew that within the coming coming weeks. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's get on to let's get on to the chocolate stout. Uh, you saw me make that a long time ago, or I don't know, maybe I didn't do a brew day video on that. But uh, you saw me pour in a bunch of chocolate. Uh, this is the first time I ever used cocoa nibs. And, uh, oh yeah, this was kicked, kicked yesterday. It's actually, it's got a pretty good carbonation on it. I way over carbonated it in the keg trying to see if um, that would give a nice carbonation in the bottle, which it, it seems to have. So this is a pretty normal stout, just uh, the grain bill was, um, we didn't use, uh, we used a lot of Carafa 3 in it. And then, uh, so really the only like flavor contributor dark malt is chocolate and just like um, a pinch of roasted barley. And then the color mostly comes from Carafa because we wanted to kind of blow it out with cocoa nibs and try and get like a, like a chocolate bomb which, um, I don't know, you, you saw my, when I tasted it in the fermenter and I wasn't really impressed with the chocolate flavor of it. it smells like a pretty standard, um, pretty standard stout. Uh, I'm not really impressed with the head retention. It had crazy head retention in the keg when you, when you poured it, the, the head was like super huge and thick and really stuck to the glass, but, uh, that doesn't seem to have translated very well to the bottle but uh yeah it's good it's really like a standard stout it doesn't have the big roasted notes uh it's oh there's lactose in it too i added lactose because um it actually fermented down really really far like it, it, it's weird uh we mashed it pretty high and it's still uso5 really blew through it i think it I think it ended on like 10, 12, maybe 10, 11, which is crazy low for a stout. And then I, um, I bumped it up with lactose to 10, 18, which 10, 18, 10, 20 ish is kind of where I like my American type stouts. I know it's pretty low for like a sweet stout, but anyway. It doesn't have a crazy amount of body, but you really get the sweetness from the lactose in it. So it kind of fools you. But it is it is probably a little too thin. It's got a lot of oats and stuff in it too. So I mean that that really tells you how how much the yeast blew through this sucker. Yeah. Very very lactose, very sweet forward with um it can actually taste the roasted barley in it it's got that little bit of licorice and it is it isn't chocolatey but i it's more of the chocolate malt type chocolatiness not the um not the like crazy cocoa puffs type chocolate that i was that i was kind of hoping for uh we were trying to do if you're a uk uh subscriber uh we were trying to do um thorn bridges uh uh cocoa wonderland uh type of not not the recipe but that that insanely chocolatey flavor that they have in that beer uh i don't know if, if anybody's ever had that but um but we've i've had it on tap a few times and it's it's ridiculous how chocolatey it is and uh, that that definitely didn't come out here and I don't know, maybe I'm just numb to it because um, both me and uh, my brewing partner, Victor, have given this beer to our wives. And they just go on and on about how chocolatey it is. So I, I don't know. I guess women just taste chocolate better than men or me. And I don't even really like chocolate that much. It's a nice stout. It's... um. It's probably the best stout that we've managed to produce so far. It has um, a touch of astringency in the taste. Uh, that's, I mean, it's really well hidden by the by the lactose and the and the chocolate, but uh, it is it is there, 
And uh, I definitely next time we do a dark beer with a lot with dark malts in it, uh, we're gonna do like cold steeping, which I'm I'm actually really surprised it came through in this because we did use a lot of carafa, uh, dehusked, but it it is it is kind of there. Other than that, there's a little bit of fruitiness. We did um, we did chinook. Uh, uh, hops on the end. There's a tiny bit of hoppiness to it that kind of gives it that a little bit of a poppy fruity flavor on the end with this with the sweetness is actually put it. I'm being really hard on it because it's um it's not what I wanted it to be, but it's it's actually a really nice beer. Uh, all of my friends that I've served it to have really. Uh, enjoyed it. They think that it's a really nice beer. It's uh, really easy drinking because it's also like 6.7% alcohol and there's like, I mean, you'll, you, you would never guess that. It's super smooth. I'm only nitpicking it because it disappointed me. You've disappointed me for the last time. But uh, yeah, good stouts. Uh, I'm going to tweak this recipe because I, I think that this is actually a really good vehicle for um, for like a flavored adjunct stout. Just need to just needs more body and um, just needs more body and and then um, just need to ramp up whatever flavor we're trying to get out of it. Anyway, that's enough. That's enough rambling for me. Cats are playing in the background, and I'm. Should go make sure they're not killing each other. But, uh, yeah. Thanks again, everybody who subscribed. 250, that's friggin' awesome. Uh, you know, and uh, feel free to thumbs up. Feel free to comment below. Feel free to tell me how cute my kitten is. Yeah. Alright, guys. I'll see you next week, or probably later this week. Cheers. Kitten! Kitten! Kitten, 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 kitten